Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Ruled Waves as Great Britain episode number 28. Still, I was just looking at research there to see what we need to do, who we need to pay, what, like how we can possibly get uh, torpedo protection. It's just not happening. And we're, we're down to like nothing. <laughs> Even, how many battle cruisers do we originally build? I'm afraid to see. Oh, wait, we only have two that are sunk? Doth my eyes deceive me? I mean, this is probably one of the series where I've lost the most amount of ships. Maybe that's kind of entertaining. People seem to be generally entertained by my um, heightened amount of stress, <laughs> anxiety, etc. So, okay, as long as it's still enjoyable. But I personally am finding it uh, just a terror to, to fight this campaign. So, on we go. Proba struck by mine. Um... Convoy defense in the Northern Europe area. Seems like a no-brainer to decline this one, considering it's battleships and armored cruisers versus battleships and battle cruisers and armored cruisers. So I'm going to decline because it's large. Coastal raid. I'm going to decline this one as well. Convoy attack. Medium-sized force. I'm going to accept this one. Oddly enough, you know, who knows? There's no method to my madness, right? But as long as we don't face their one dreadnought, which is here, should be in good shape. Now, we might also take a torpedo and then end up having a really terrible day, but that's definitely the risk you take. So we're just going to cruise on in, see if we can get the kill and get out of here in the usual way. I'm only interested in seeing if they have some kind of escorting dreadnought. That's the main concern here. Destroyers, I'm fine with. Armored, uh, armed merchant cruisers, I'm still okay with. We'll probably have to get going faster sooner here, sooner or later, but as long as I don't see... So, like, they're coming right at me, but what a terrible angle for their torpedoes. Try to make it even worse by a little course adjustment. I think we've actually done a good job of hitting these ships already. But now, right while they're presently, like, it looks like sinking. We're going to do a little combat maneuvering. Alright, let's go back over here. Hopefully we can hide behind their own ships. Make it that much more difficult. We're taking a few hits here, but, I mean, it shouldn't be much. Let's see what this city of Pensacola is. Um, six inch guns, something reasonable. I mean, I'm I'm really actually quite happy to see that because it means it should be worth a few more victory points um, than otherwise. And I'm not I'm there's just no doubt in my mind that we're gonna sink it before getting out of here. And there it is. We did all that at just a cruise speed because this was a, a nonchalant mission, just a cruise. No big deal. I think we'll just go ahead and leave. I don't see any reason to pursue those destroyers because they probably, if there's, there, there's just a chance that they're running back to a, a dreadnought, which would not make me very happy. So, mission accomplished. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We used to, one at one point we owned Grand Bahama. We had Freeport. Freeport was our port. No longer. So, go down to cruise speed and uh, just saunter away. Well, that's a kind of a nice um, start to the episode. I feel bad for the Americans there. They didn't really have... It's the same kind of thing where I have... I mean, this is the game. how the game mechanics work, which is kind of sad, that if you bring a big battleship and they are not fielding an equal entity, yeah, you just win. And that was actually significant. That was 900 more victory points. <clears throat> We're still trying to blockade, but obviously we've lost so many ships at this point that it's just not possible. So, we only built a total of eight battle cruisers. That doesn't, yeah, that that doesn't seem wrong. That seems like it could be right. City Inspire and Nike. Uh, I've joined a lot of the fleet, um, buried beneath the waves. <clears throat> so, all right. Well, let's see. Still have to keep waiting for. Ah, huh, Bodie McBoatface. I thought she already sunk to a mine. Maybe that was number two. 
Convoy defense. Now this seems a little bit better. Now I'm almost positive that when we do this, it'll be like destroyers versus destroyers or something silly. And it's possible we can get our battle cruisers involved, which means I'm going to decline again. Yes. So this is much more what I want. I only have three destroyers in this area, but this is um, okay. It's a medium battle size. I think this might only be my three destroyers, so I'm actually going to decline this. Okay, and then they've intercepted. This is not. How are they intercepting my raiders in my area? Like, hmm. That's like my home waters. <laughs> I should have free reign to raid. <laughs> All right. Well, we can go make a hard turn north. Which should take us back to the safety of our mines. Although they haven't been useful. I've hit mines lately in my... Wait, was it this campaign? Americans? Or is it the British? I think it was. Okay, let's go for her. She's just a light cruiser. The archer is the older class, but that's okay. Um, another unknown ship. Well, that's just not good. We're going to call this off <laughs> on suspicions that that's probably a armored cruiser. I'm not going to go to port yet, just in case they start attacking merchant ships or whatever, and I get reports that it's just two light cruisers. We might sail back out. And it's going to be over in a moment anyway. Okay, good. So what do we face? Two light cruisers. Okay, we actually could have taken that on, I think. Or at least I would have been willing to try. But you don't know those things, and uh, if we had found out as an armored cruiser, it might have been too late to turn around. Or much worse, a battle cruiser. Um, I think I, what I should do is dump a few more destroyers. I know that we don't have that many left. Let's get a few more to go into the East Coast. Because they're not needed in Northern Europe. They really aren't. Um, how's our points doing here? 89 to 41. Yeah, I mean, they we're barely meeting the point requirement to stave off blockade in Northern Europe. How close are we here? They've moved their entire fleet back. Which is good. This is what we hoped that they would do. No, actually... I take that back, they have a still a significant force in the Caribbean. But I think we have enough forces here to stop any further invasions, which is good. Now what I'm trying to do is actually get my foreign station individuals to move to the American East West Coast, I should say. Because we might actually be able to force an invasion there. Oh, our submarines are coming online. Well, this is good. I, I don't care. <laughs> ah, and this is even better. This is even better. Hopefully it's a battle cruiser or an armored cruiser. I'd love a battle cruiser. That would be a very entertaining fight, and I think we would win. And this is the slow way we're going to try to grind them down, just by winning one battle at a time. Okay, on patrol. Spotted an enemy ship. Detected it pretty close within our range, which leads me to believe this is going to be a light cruiser, unfortunately. So we're going to give it a good amount of distance, just so she doesn't get into torpedo range. There it is. And now we'll just open up. And in fact, we're just going to open up with our forward guns. There's still five of them. And yeah, this is a 500... This is not that old of a ship. Okay, let's get our full broadside then. If she wants to oblige us a full broadside, we will. And we're faster than her too, so it's just not a good situation for this Milwaukee. Only thing that can really hurt us is torpedoes, so we're gonna keep our distance. Are we keeping our distance? We're perfect. Just outside of torpedo range. I'm not even sure if I should worry about wind. We're getting a few hits. Wow, they've actually disappeared. But I shouldn't be too worried about them escaping. One, we're faster. Two, they've been hit. We do lose visibility pretty quickly, though. Let's get those broadsides working again. 
Okay, let's close a little bit first and then make our turn broadside. There we go. A few more hits would be nice. Right, this is still a little confusing to me why it becomes an un unidentified ship even after we've identified it. Alright, we're going to go forward guns only. I'm going to just try to close up on her. Apparently our sight distance is not very much, so let's just get a few hits, and that should be the end of her. There it is. Alright, very good. We didn't take damage <laughs> at all, <laughs> so just a victory. Wish it would have been a battle cruiser, but that's okay. We have our raiders. This is a good amount of raiders. Any other Comus class want to go raiding? They are all busy elsewhere. Yeah, that seems okay to me, though. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way things are right now. At this very moment, getting our submarines in, this is going to put added pressure on them. I probably should go to unrestricted as well. Yeah, this is enough submarines, I think. Whoops. Um, let's not get them, let them get off lightly. Because now we're finally starting to... Oh, we, we sunk a Q-ship. In a brilliantly fought gun duel. Usually the, I don't know why the submarines always win those. And we sank seven ships. Okay. It's, I don't know, the Americans have, are having problems naming their ships and they're asking me what to do. <laughs> it's a weird situation. I wish I could... Auto resolve this because I don't want to fight it, but let's go ahead. Argonauta has served us well. I remember her from previous battles, so maybe we can keep her alive. All right, there at the wind side. Let's just uh, prepare to disengage. What do we have here? All right, well let's go ahead and engage then. It is something we can potentially sink. Yeah, only two six-inch guns, so it's not bad. Not bad at all. Go ahead and drive right by them and spin for the wind. Wind. Wasn't trying to say spin to win. And we're getting a lot of hits in, too, which makes me pretty happy. Launching torpedoes, a good sign that they can also do that. And there it is. That was a very successful engagement, so I'm quite happy with the Arconauts performance in this month. Uh, another 500 victory points, not too much to write home about. But let's go ahead and go to unrestricted now. Ah, we're actually getting some obsolete warnings. Well, we're going to have to fix that only after this war is over. I'm going to go ahead and put these on active just for the moment. I, I might be able to force... can I? No. Why do three battleships only amount to 15 points? That doesn't make sense. I'm pretty sure that they should amount to much more than that. All right, but seeing that they have enough there that even three battleships is not going to help us, I'm going to put these back to foreign stations. I was hoping we could maybe get another invasion, but it doesn't look like it's to be, and that's okay. Submarines are all starting to roll in now. Um, yeah, I, my finger is getting get tired clicking. <laughs> we did make a hundred of these, right? Up to 75, 79, 80. Okay, what, do we make only 90? Oh, okay, despite being First surprised, our submarine has sunk another Q-ship. And we have sunk the Atlantic Sun as well. Ah, finally, things are... Oh, we've sunk the seal top. This is... I took the submarines are just doing great. 26 ships. Six submarines sunk. Food becoming scarce. We can see the effects of the submarines are just ridiculous. And you know what? I don't feel any shame for it. The only thing I feel like doing now is building more of them. <laughs> absolutely we need to build more so with the war going well now and I think us not I think the best thing for us to do is actually going to be accept these smaller things 
<clears throat> we don't need those battle cruisers. Obviously, we have the victory points we need. We're just going to grind the United States out. Um, I'd love, I'd love to invade. But if we take any of our forces away from East Coast, we risk being invaded there ourselves. And I don't think we can muster the ships to do anything anywhere else. I think I'm going to actually build a strategic battleship. That's what I'm going to do. We have the money to do it. I'm going to get some more submarines, and then I'm going to build a strategic battleship, which won't have torpedo defense, um, because we don't have it anyway. So I'll just see what if we have any quality, good quality, like 14-inch guns or so. 14-inch guns is what most of our fleet is operating on right now. I do I want to? This is a small battle. I don't think this is. I'm going to decline. This is southeastern seaboard. Medium battle probably means destroyers. I'm going to decline. A cruiser action probably means a battle cruiser. I don't know though. We can afford the victory points if we do lose a battleship here. So I'm going to see what this exactly means. What the heck? I have my other battleship division here as well. Strange. But I feel like we're kind of rounding a corner on this in this war. Like I feel like we're finally starting to control the action a little bit more. It has taken a long time to get here though. Goodness has it. So is this a battle cruiser? It is. Uh not just a battle cruiser, but a bunch of them. Can't outrun it. The only hope for us is to fight it. So we're gonna try to close and fight it. We do have a lot of secondary guns, so our hope is going to be that she allows us to close. Wow, we already lost one due to heavy flooding. That's kind of unusual though, because we do have, we certainly have the ability to withstand a few hits. All right, let's hope that this is within six inch gun range. And let's just continue to try to close with her. If we can sink this, it's obviously gonna be just a major, major upset. We're not starting off well, definitely. We're landing a few hits though. There's the six inch guns, which I really wanted to get into effect. We've reattached. Okay, just fire steady as she goes. Try to sink her, do your best. She's a sign, she's obliging us coming into range. We've actually knocked out one of her turrets and we are landing the hits. Two more. Another hit. She's going slow. Let's close. She apparently has the same idea to, to keep the distance. Another hit. Gosh, this could be a major upset. I'm speaking about it as if it's like a sports thing. <laughs> but it really could be a fantastic. Now, unfortunately, she's on the she has her guns configured that. This is the correct angle for her to engage. This gun is going to be able to engage us even if we, uh, even if she keeps turning a little bit further away. But there's another two 12 inch hits, two more six inch hits. We've extinguished our fire. How are our ships doing? We actually destroyed this turret now, outright. Um, we need to keep angling towards her. We do not want her to get away. Sighted another unknown ship. This could be bad. There's two more 12 inch hits, though. Look, just max speed. Everything you've got, give it to us. This ranger is ours. Okay, what's her speed? It's up to 15. Well, that's basically our speed as well. I mean, 15 could be 17. Go ahead and just try to keep firing best we can. We need to land a few more hits before she's, uh, where is she going to? I really wish I had my other battle division over here to pen her in. All right, well, let's just keep going like this for a while, see if we can land any more hits. Doesn't look like it. She's slowly eking out of our way too, which is really unfortunate. We'll be able to sink another light cruiser for our troubles, I think. <sighs> so sad though, we, we really had a chance at glory. They're turning towards, maybe we'll encounter? What are these light cruisers doing?
There she is. Again. Might as well do, might as well go down to cruise speed. Might as well preserve our coal shovelers. <laughs> We know she wants to turn this way. Let's let her do that so she'll turn into... Oh, and here's the tuba. Well, that's fortuitous. She'll turn into the land. And hopefully we can catch her there. Now, I cannot control the tuba, right? But I can control the tuba. <laughs> Um, unknown ship. Is this our battle cruiser? Okay, squad max. Whoa, whoa. Let's pretend that I didn't see that. This has got to be it. There she is. Come on, try to open up on her. We really want to ferry her in or something. I, I don't know how to how I can arrange this. It just might be impossible for us to, to actually eventually close with them. Which would be very unfortunate, but let's just head this way with them. And for as long as I can, let's have the tuba, tuba chase. Let's go up to fast. Not too much excitement going on right now. Okay, we assume we're pushing them this way. Well, the tuba's doing a hell of a job, whatever she's doing. She's aggressively pursuing someone. Has she slowed down for a moment? Well, if we get lucky, we'll get lucky. If not, then, we'll, then we won't. Okay. So, only medium damage. Still a major victory for us because we did more damage, I guess. Not really a... I mean, that could have been huge if we had been able to sink that battle cruiser. Could have been huge. Instead, we have two of our battleships in port, and they might be able to take advantage of that to, to um, yeah, raid. Okay, we sunk another Q ship. Minesweeper. 11 more ships. And a lot of submarines. I have to make sure that I remember this time to actually build more submarines and build our strategic battleship. Dreadnought, I should say. Convoy attack, I like this. I like this a lot. If it's just my Dreadnought, I will be a little bit disappointed. Okay, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> well, let's just go until we are given control. And there it is. So let's get you into support mode. And we'll start off just cruising. We have the wind advantage as well, which is good. Okay, that's the thing we were waiting for. Now let's go ahead and prepare to fire on this United States class. Very interesting. 11 14 inch guns. Very potent. Low armor though. 29,000 tons versus our, I think, 24,000 ton ship that only has 14 inch guns. We will be able to fire, well, now only six, but eventually eight. 14 inch guns at them. So the question is, does basically, oh, okay, we have a critical hit machinery damage on the very first blow. That's just ridiculous. Terrible luck. Um, it comes down to now whether or not armor beats uh, speed. And you would say yes if you were like me, naive, but I think RNG trumps all those things and we've already had a very poor run of luck. The very first opening blow was not good. Machinery damage, you slow down, you become an easier target. Yeah, so we're going to engage at range. We actually got a hit off, that, thank God. But we're just going to engage at range. I'm not going to try to push. Yeah. That way we can actually run away if we need. We're still swapping blows. Oh, God. Well, if it comes down to engaging 14-inch shells or 12-inch shells, I think the decision's obvious. So 
So we'll just mosey our way on out of here. And luckily we do have our destroyers as nice backup. Now this is a, a lot of 12 inch shells raining down towards us. We expect that it's 16 total. 16 versus, you know, my 8 10 inch shells, or uh, 14 inch shells. Not a good situation. They firing, mul multiple people firing at a target should make that their accuracy dwindle slightly. Or at least decreased a bit. Alright, well this was kind of a mistake. I don't want my Kaiser Wilhelm to go to get sunk, so let's go ahead and do this and I hope that you will just deploy smoke intelligently. Why are you guys making a torpedo run not at them? Make it at them. Okay, now turn and launch. No. Uh, Michigan class. Well, this is just not getting any better, is it? Now would be a good time to get away. Okay, the Hermes is sinking, but she might absorb some hits. No. Where do we need to go to get out of here? I think it's impossible. I think there's no way for us to escape. We have 14 inch shells. Well, let's try to give them just our backside. Michigan's peeling off for the moment. Battle cruisers, we won't be able to outrun, but maybe with a little bit of luck, we can get away from that uh, dreadnought. Yeah, we actually got away. Wow. Okay, well, we lost three destroyers. Uh, you know, this is kind of why I didn't even want to. You know, maybe I should move back with the dreadnought. I think I will. It's too risky. We're going to move back when Kaiser Wilhelm gets out. We're just going to send him back home or over to the Caribbean or something. That way I only, it's like you have to keep only, this is what World of Waves 2 misses more than anything if it doesn't include um, a order a battle organizer. I don't want my Dreadnoughts, uh, I don't know, I just want my Fortune class to be the aggressive class here. So I guess I just got to move the Kaiser Wilhelm out. That entire battle was done... <laughs> Not quite correctly, sorry. About the, the screen. But you didn't miss much, right? Major victory, but not huge victory. I mean, was it going to be a thousand victory points? Yeah, thereabouts. More ships sunk, which is the most annoying thing. And we'll have to get this guy out next month. But before I forget, time to build more subs. We can build, what, 12 at a time? 10, okay. Mm, let's keep going. They're so useful, you know? Might as well get a bunch. You know what? Why stop there? Why stop there? One more round. We're going to lose a whole bunch anyway, right? Okay, that's good. So we're going to spend a pretty penny getting these guys constructed. But now, next, we're going to get our strategic dreadnought, is what I'm going to call this thing. I want it to be fast, yes. Well, okay, no. I don't want to fight. I'm going to decline battles with this thing. It's All it's going to be there for is blockading and stuff. So we're actually going to make it like very, very, very light. Kind of ridiculously so. Uh, all these things sound good, but we don't... What, do we have any... I'm going to make it 12-inch guns because we have a quality 1 12-inch guns. Director firing is fine. Um, doesn't need that many rounds per gun because it's only a strategic ship. It, I do want... 
Okay, we'll put five inch guns on it. This is the one thing that I w would want it to have is secondary guns so that if it gets engaged by smaller f forces like destroyers or whatnot, can handle those nicely. I'm pretty sure we don't have any rate of fire. We do have 20% for double turrets. I still think I'm gonna leave it on though. And we don't need uh, torpedoes or do we? Well, one each is just seems like normal. Uh, resolution. Oh, well, I'm going to have to name this. I, I don't have my list up. <laughs> okay, so while I'm loading up some stuff on the side, let's think about what we're going to be doing. Deck two. Conning tower, maybe nine. Turrets, ten. Okay, we'll go ten and ten. Turret top three, secondaries. Maybe zero, which is strange, but maybe we just don't armor. Okay, we'll do, we'll do two to keep the splinters from happening. Let's see how tiny we're making this so far. I like it. 16,000, not bad. Um, and it has, I think, too many turrets. Okay, right now we have, that's nice. Uh, plenty of double turrets, I think, five inch double turrets probably it doesn't even need this many do we actually need 10 no I don't think so I think we're gonna go with a triple and a triple and we're just gonna avoid this and this all together okay does this work it's identified as a B I knew it so we need at least one turret I guess we'll make it the Aft super line superimposed, which is I, just really weird design. We're gonna have to move this thing as well. Uh, okay, fine. And let's get rid of. I don't know which one of these is the one I want to get rid of here. Hey, so there's another one here. I want to get rid of this. Wrong one. There it is. All right, so there she is, the uh, very strange camper down. Okay, yeah, then I need to get my World Waves list out. I think that we might have um, somebody who, uh, a Dreadnought suggestion. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. Um, it's, obviously this is not like, the A class, you know, we're still gonna get a new dreadnought as soon as we actually get torpedo defense, which is, wow, okay, that reminds me, lack of torpedo defense makes me, maintenance will be very low. If she's speed of 18, why do we even care? Why don't we just make her speed of 17? Does this decrease a lot? This will decrease maintenance, most importantly. Doesn't seem like the difference is huge here. The weight savings is 200, though. All right, let's just do it. Oh my gosh, I mean, we just, this can be so cheap. I'm okay with 14,000. Let's make this maybe eight, 2.5. Get some extra ammunition. Um, There it is. There she is. This is going to be the Glindor, <laughs> do not know how to pronounce this. The Glindor Strategic Dreadnought. Oh, could have director firing for secondary armor. That is absolutely necessary. Yes, definitely. Most definitely. So very bizarre ship. I mean, look at the firing arcs we're gonna have. But you know, she's gonna run away more often than she actually charges somebody. So that it's fine. I'm I'm okay with that. I don't think she's gonna be very expensive. She's only. I mean, gosh, she is cheaper than our armored cruisers from our Japanese series, which I think were 64 million, right? Because of the speed. Remember, the speed was just what was killer there. Light cruisers, to give you an example, 25 million. So we can just spam the living hell out of these. Now some might argue, I think this is a reasonable point, that if we're going to make it so weak, why do we even bother putting like uh, any kind of belt armor or deck armor? Like, why don't we lower all these things and just keep lowering the displacement? I mean, I may be cheesing it a little bit, but I'm not... 
I'm not that bad, right? <laughs> I like it, though. I think I really like it. This secondary turret thing is a... It is... I keep going back to this. It is a technology which we will later um, research. Now, my question, which I've never... I still have never received a, like a decisive answer about this, is once you research that technology, does it apply to the turrets retroactively? Which makes sense because it's a crew training thing. That's what it's saying, right? Accurate training and elevation gear. Ah, elevation gear. Okay. So let's just go to one. This is going to be, you know, increase the tonnage a bit. We can go back down to 7.5. I don't see a huge difference there. We can get another more rounds per gun. Uh, mainly this belt armor is just supposed to be enough to, to ward off any kind of light cruiser fire. And I think that, that it will be doing that. So. So there she is. There she is, the Glendoir, purely strategic dreadnought. Still has very capable secondary weapons though, despite that. Yeah, and what's her, with the quality one 12 inch guns, what's her range at? It's like the perfect caliber to get quality one on. I'm just, it still has a range of 25,000. Penetrates very well, I mean, yeah, this is, okay. I, it's possible, I'm not going to overbuild this because it's possible I'll regret this, but this is going to be my new foreign station ship. Once this is actually built, I'll probably build one of these for every battleship we have out right now. And then once these are built, all the battleships, the pre-war dreadnoughts, the pre-war battleships, I should say, those will all be retired. And this is just better in every way. Um, gosh, it's just so cheap to get the extra speed though, but that does increase maintenance cost. And what's the difference between 17 or 18 anyway? She's going to be slower than anything else in the water. Yeah. Yeah, it goes back to the whole displacement discussion, but that's okay. All right, let's do it. Save. Probably don't need the torpedo tubes. Hmm. Yeah, let's get rid of these torpedo mounts. Actually, no. Okay, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to stay. It's going to stay how it is. I was thinking that the torpedo mounts don't make sense, but if we get caught in like one of those engagements where poor weather. So yeah, let's go to the build dialog. We already have all the submarines we're going to need to be built. This is only 2 million a month, and we have plenty saved up. Let's just get 10. I think that's an one for every battleship we have in existence right now. So this is also a nice way for us to go through the list of names that we have plenty of people who want a dreadnought on that list and I, I I think I'm gonna try to do things differently for naming systems in the next series that I do because we really aren't I'm sure like half the people who originally put names on probably aren't following the series anymore so I have an idea for how I'll do the naming system I think I'm gonna start posting the naming for the next series like at the end of this series so that way the people who are the most dedicated stick around for I mean all right get their names in I like that. It's probably, I'll continue to think about it, but I think I'm going to call this video to a close here. So we have the new um, Glenweir class. We have plenty of them building. Probably should have just saved it and not built them to get people's opinions about how it is. But I'm going to save here so I can always scrap these. It'll be, um, I won't have spent any money except for the initial cost to modify the docks, which isn't too much, but uh, let me open this design one more time just so people get a, another one last glimpse at it. Is there anything we're missing? Let's see, medium, normal, 17, normal oil, 75, 25, 10, 10, 3, 2, flat deck, good, 0, 0, normal, good. This is fine, director, director, 5, 0, 2, 10. Yeah, I think it's all perfect. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I probably won't make them because now we've already started building it, unless it's like really critical. But let me know what you think of that new dreadnought class because you might make a very strong argument that it's just going to end up costing us victory points in terms of ships getting sunk even if they're on like foreign stations but that is going to be i think i'm going to swing that towards my that's going to be purely my uh foreign station ship and maybe we can put some strategic pressure places or it can hold northern europe when my main battle fleet leaves um, we can prevent ourselves from being blockaded by just having a bunch of those around so, anyways, um, thanks for watching. This was not a bad episode for us. We're pulling 
closer and closer to victory, even though it will only be a break even in terms of territory. But uh, I'm still excited to see how, how it goes with the submarines now active. Um, so until the next episode, thanks for watching and take care.